guys, welcome back. It's another Different Faces Challenge video today. We are working on our third Catherine Parr. This is Catherine Parr from 2003's Henry VIII, played by Claire Holman. And I'm just gonna say, for a movie that came out in 2003, someone needs to explain to me why there are exactly three screenshots of her in character and all of them are terrible. I don't understand. There's no good like promo stills. There's no good screen caps. I found more screenshots for characters in movies released in the 50s than I did for this character. I was very annoyed. But also she, I think out of the group that I have, is probably my favorite because I think she looks the most like how I imagine Catherine Parr looks like. She had the right hair. She had the right kind of facial structure. She just... She looked the part. I have not seen this, so I don't know what happens there. But she definitely looked the part. So, and I had a lot of fun with her cheekbones because she's got cheekbones. And she doesn't have a lot of buccal fat, which I'm so still really annoyed that I know what that term is. It's the, basically, the, uh, the fat but underneath her cheekbones. Like, I just... I've already ranted about it. But yeah, so she had just like cheekbones and I was really excited to kind of create this sim. And I think it got pretty dang close. Like not, there was something wonky about her eyes, but overall I'm really happy with how she turned out. I will say I do give her a hair that does a disservice to the show, movie, whatever it is. They actually did have her in a hood. I mean, it was garbage, but they did have her in one. However, I couldn't find one that looked close enough to satisfy me so I just went with a hair that had the right part and was the right color but it's long and down. It's not like that in the movie but you know things happen. Yeah I, I fiddled quite a bit but it didn't take me too long like I think it took me probably 20 minutes. I've gotten very quick at making sims. Very quick. Because it used to take me like days and I don't even know why because like I would just be fiddling with teeny tiny details back and forth and it didn't matter like in the grand scheme I think this was before there was really a lot of sliders too now that there's sliders I feel like for the most part as long as I have the right base I just rock it through it which sometimes I start with the wrong base and that ruins everything one of my Katherine Howards, the Emily Blunt one. I'm still really unhappy with that one because I just, she's not right. But it's okay, it's okay, things happen. I did struggle a little bit with her nose too. I remember that because I filmed this a couple days ago, but yeah, her nose in some of the, in one of the three, like looks downturned, but in the other two, it looks upturned. So I'm not really sure if it's just the tilt of her head or what's going on. I ended up going with the upturned version, but it was really frustrating that it was like that. I went with up tilted only because the side version that was an actual screen grab from the movie showed that, so it seemed like it was right, but I don't know. Sometimes noses are hard. Yeah, this is me changing it, going, oh, dang it, I gotta do I hate when I do that, when I base too much of the face on like the first image and then I look at the next one and I'm like, cool, this is wrong. <laughs> I look at all of them before I start, but it's like my brain just forgets. I really like that hair, by the way. I just want to use it on all my sims. I'm not using it for her, but I figured while I was making the sim, I could, I could admire it. It's just pretty. It's that like 40s aesthetic, but modern, and I just like it. If I could make my hair do that, I would do it every single day. But my hair has a mind of its own, and that is never going to happen. So yeah, now this is me looking for hoods. The, the type that they put on her is one that's fairly common for productions. It's where it's like a headband, but it's got some shape to it. I genuinely don't know why, but I, I didn't like, it wasn't fully round, so I didn't want to put my usual round hood on her because she didn't have a round hood, but she also didn't have a gable hood. It was like weird, I would say heart shape. It's not heart shaped, but like in my brain, that's what it is. So yeah, I was like toying with the idea of other hairs, just something with a heavy part. 
because you can definitely see it under the headbandy hood that they have on her. She's got a very heavy part and that dark, dark auburn hair. Yeah, this is the one I went with. I probably should have put a hairline on her, but I didn't. And that's just the way that it is. I do give her some wrinkles because she's an older actress in the film, or it looks like she's got some wrinkles, so I wanted to go with that. I did not look up at her age, so please don't yell at me. She had a mole, though, and I struggled with finding a mole that was in the right spot, because it's like almost in the middle of her cheek, underneath her cheekbone, and I didn't know if I had that. And then I forgot that I had some in face paint, so I picked one that was in the wrong spot. I think it's a Marilyn Monroe one, yeah. But then I found one in face paint that's a little bit closer. Because I didn't want to give her this one because it was not right. She had a little bit of makeup on in the production that I could see, but they mostly went with the natural look, so it was forgiving and kind. She had blush on though, so I went with the blush. This is me going, wait a minute, I have a mole here. Where is it? It's a mole hunt. I should use the freckles in here more often too. Because they're really nice. It's a nice set of freckles that I got here. Do, 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 do. So yeah, I've got it kind of like in her crease, but it's it's not too bad. It's close enough. And then I just put her in a black dress because there was nothing that I had that was super close to what she was wearing, but I think it worked out alright. Not this one though, the other one. This one, which is a Catherine American one. Anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me. If you like this video, definitely give it a like and I'll see you in the next one.